Ruth here, and this is the 2021 UK White Greyhound Certified Premium and Circulated 5 pound coin. Part of the uh, Queen's Beast series. And it came with some adverts. So, so like this um, trading card change checker. And like in the last one, I got one. And like this is my second one I got. So I am quite interested to see what it's supposed to be. So let's just. Oh. The suffer gets 50p. That's interesting. Uh, let's see. It says year of issue 2003. Country of issue, United Kingdom. Averse designer, Ian Rank Broadly. FRBS. Averse designer, Mary Miller Dickens. Circulating vintage, 3,124,000. 3, I don't actually have to say that I'm that big in a while. <laughs> okay, key fact. In the suffering, it's 50p commemorative. It uh, commemorates the centenary of the establishment of the Women's Social and Political Union. Huh. So, basically, I guess it's just, just random. 50p's that you come across? I don't know. I'll probably do this later, but now that I'm doing it right now, my pain won't stop doing it until it's finished. <laughs> Just making sure nothing left. Okay, now this is dirty. I mean, like, it's fun and all to, uh, do that, but it leaves so much residue. Right. So I'll just, I'm not sure where to put it. Where did I put my other one? I can't remember if I actually put it with the other trading cards I have, or just with I need to deal with this before I do anything else so I don't get this on the floor. Okay, so I'm just gonna briefly quickly put this in the trash. So this is an advert for the last ever UK fifth, uh, Peter Rabbit 50p coin, just for 450 plus postage and packaging. So basically it's just Peter Rabbit uh, escaping or entering under a fence by the looks of it. So, that's the order reference number down there if you're interested. I don't know. I actually do have, I think, the rest of them. But I don't know if I'll get this one or not. I guess I would complete the collection, but we'll see. This is the fifth Peter Rabbit 50p coin. This one be released and marks last time this rascally rabbit will feature in the much loved series of Beatrix Potter coins, meaning it's sure to prove incredibly popular with collectors. 
Yeah, since it is the last coin for the collection. Uh, let's see. Brand new 2020 UK Peter Rabbit 50p has been struck to a superior brilliant circulated quantity, high quality, and protectively encapsulated in official change tracker packaging. Though the, the coins that I got of these aren't actually change tracker uh, series, it's just normal BU series with their own like little packaging thingy. Like, you know, with the uh, stuff about the coin or the character. <laughs> um, so I don't know, I'll see if I can find that on the Roman website. Anyway, that's what this is. But I'll, uh, I'll keep that from my scrapbook anyway. Um, so this is just. What I guess they all come in. You wanna have a check there? There's the Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Just search change checker. And obviously I got this at Westminster. This is like a an order thing. Got like the order numbers and stuff for uh, albums and folders or something. Collecting pages. That's the word I'm looking for. Anyway, yeah, I don't actually have a folder for this. <laughs> I just kept it in an envelope. Where is the recycling box that goes? So, I shall put it in the pages they provided. Huh, here it is. Here's the other. The other, um, what should I call it? Um, Trading card with the sword. And it's right in front of me. The other trading card I had was the uh, D Day 50p one. So I shall, after I finish taking pictures, obviously, put that away with the other one. I'll just move that off to the side. Lion of England, Unicorn of Scotland. Ugh, I don't need to come out. I'll fix it after. The Red Dragon of Wales, Black Pool of Clarence, Queen of uh, da, 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 Falcon of the Plantagnets. Gnets, I can't say that. Yale of Beaufort. Uh, White Lion of Mortimer, White Horse of Hanover, and on the last page, that means we have one coin left to complete the series after this one. So this is the Greyhound, the White Greyhound of Richmond. So that means the Griffin of Edward III is the last one. So I think that's a huge, you know, coin actually had a Griffin one. Oh, um, I don't know where exactly, but I do have a couple. Um, the, uh, I'm not sure it was the unicorn, but it was definitely the lion in the mainland. And I think it was the dragon. And I think I have three in total of the, uh, queen beasts, um, uh, the, big, the bigger coins. Was it silver or something or other? But those ones. I will sell for the price I bought them at. <clears throat> so if anyone is interested, 
been having a look of buying. I'd be grateful if you could take it off my hands. After I decided to collect the change jacket version to save my money, uh, I do, I am thinking, and want to sell, resell those. Whether I sell it back to the government or sell it to somebody, a collector, that's whatever. Just contact me if you want it. Okay, so back to this. Um, White Greyhound of Richmond. The hound is a common symbol of heraldry. Heraldry? I can't read or pronounce anything. Uh, used by royalty long before Henry the Seventh. <laughs> I had to count that. I mean, it's in Roman numerals. Um, um, but it is closely associated with the first Tudor king. The white greyhound is a special beast of Richmond in Yorkshire. Henry's father was created Earl of Richmond in 1453. Henry's greyhound was white with a gold studded red collar and it often supported the royal arms alongside the Red Dragon of Wales or Lion of England. That's pretty cool. So just now plop it in place. There we go. And ta-da! It is in place. Here it is up close. And there's the, uh, Tudor Rose there. I believe if my history is correct. Because, like, I'm not very good at history. <laughs> it's very nice. Here's the text if you want to read it yourself. And just for a slight recap. Before the battery runs out, just pause if you want to have a proper read. Well, if I get it in the right place so you can actually read and stuff. And the last one. first ones. And just for a close up, this is the card. A good picture to take for the, uh, what was it, Wednesday or something? For International Wednesday? This was the other card. Just for a close up. Yes, so that's it. So, just one left to go. And I said before, if you're interested, and there are previous videos that I have put up on my YouTube that you can search for the Queen Beast coins to see the, I believe it was three other big coins of these that I have that they will be for sale for the amount I paid for them. So please, if you are interested in them, do give me a DM on Instagram. That's the best way to contact me, because sometimes I forget to check my email. But do email me as well, just in case. If we do that first, then drop me a message on Instagram saying that you emailed me. That might be best. Or just contact me both ways. Yes. So thank you for watching. We can talk more. We're gonna go for vacations. Okay.